Okay, now we got inputs display. Okay. Let's go off a clean reset. Who's ready? Who's ready for runs, dude? Today is the day. No, no way in hell are we failing. Everything is feeling much too strong. We have resolved so many different issues. So many different issues have been investigated and fixed. <sighs> I was really, ha I know I was upset you know, that the very final run of the night had such a good opportunity and I didn't, it didn't clutch out because of uh, Irie Room 4. However, I am very happy that, like, I said, hey, this will be last run of the night at the big, I think it was at the very beginning of level two. Maybe it was midway through, but it was sometime during level two. I was like, this is going to be the last run of the night. And I was able to take that and just play extremely well. You know what I'm saying? It's like, that felt nice. SMB2, you not treating you well, Professor? You had those three dumb deaths that cost one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was a minute and 20 seconds. So, like, everything through Sens was perfect. I was actually, I think I was, if I recall correctly, I think I was in the green exiting Sens, which obviously that's crazy. Um, and then after Sens, I think it was one time in, in Deuce Secret, one time in Pooh's Laughter, and one time in Deuce Normal, maybe. I had one death in each of those spots, and each of them was at, like, about the worst possible way to die. Like, either right before the end of a level or right before the uh, checkpoint. Something along those lines. And so three deaths cost me a minute 20. I remember I remember that very vividly because I, I, I was, went back to go check. And so even with that, three really costly deaths. Like, I think we were, we're, I think we were on 45 pace in Ivory Room 4. I could be wrong. Maybe I misremembered that part, but I knew it was, I know it was pretty good. Maybe it was a 46. I don't remember. Oof. <laughs> it kind of is, but game is hard. True. That's easy. Easy early play. Let's go. Good practice sesh. Good practice sesh. Time to get that bread. What? Don't run! <laughs> What's up, Barnes? May perhaps a bit premature, but I like where your head's at. You're on the right track. There's nothing better than the feeling of, uh, like, uh, turning on stream at the start of the day. It's like, the, the, the hopes are so high, the spirits are high, the attitude is positive, and typically the runs go pretty well early on. This is usually when the, uh, the stars align. We aren't we aren't bogged down by any bad runs at this point. Oh, 
Let's just do it. Let's see what, uh, just one and done today. How about that, guys? One, one and done for a 44. Wouldn't, wouldn't that be lovely? Just a, just a casual stroll through Grand Pooh World 2. Bit sketchy, but we made it through. Oh, fuck me. Fuck. Oh my. Okay, that was terribly slow and bad. <sighs> Multiple seconds lost, but at least we didn't die. We call that, uh. a bit awkward. Yeah, 10 instead of a high 14 or low 15. Okay, it's fine, though. Basically, that children every time, but it always makes me more. Oh, I mean, you and me, you and me both, man. Whatever, whenever I get to that part, I'm always uh, holding my breath a little bit. I do have confidence. I have visual cues on how to approach that section, when to do my up toss and everything, like when to do my forward toss. All that stuff is very, very scripted. Which, I mean, whenever you're speedrunning, I will give you that advice that the more the more you can make your run scripted, the better off you're going to be. Um, instead of just like getting there and kind of feeling it out and doing it like uniquely every time. Um, so I do have confidence in my setup there, but at the same time, like, I feel like there, it's very easy for that to go awry. So I don't want to take it uh, too easy. I don't want to be too confident there. You need to give it the proper respect it deserves. Although it's a lot less punishing these days, because before, you know, like, I mean, level four, is, I always said was the gatekeeper, but like, before I was like, I was very inconsistent of getting through the first room of level four, and I was inconsistent at the shell jump, and it was like hard to cleanly beat level one, like every time. And now I have like way more confidence in level one. And I, I fixed all my visual cues in the first room of uh, level four, so I have high confidence there now. I mean, it's definitely still scarier than, say, um, like room one of level four is scarier than Laserless and Riptide, but it still is, like, feels to be on, on the uh, safer side of the run, I would say. Oh gosh, okay, fine. Hello, come on. That was dumb. I got distracted by my splitter and then I messed up my movement in that room, so I lost time. Like, unnecessary time to lose, but it is what it is. Let's go. Yeah, 
low 203 instead of a... Yeah, that's fine. About a set, about a second loss there. Had a, oh, I had, the, I had everything I needed right there. I should have been able to, to clean that up, but that's fine. We always give ourselves one attempt at that strat. And if it doesn't work, then uh, we do it the standard way. It's fine. Beautiful. Honestly, using the cactus as a launching point for when to start my min jump onto the pre pokey. Has been working wonders. It maybe it's just a um, mental thing. And it has instilled new confidence in me. Or maybe it is a technical thing that has actually made the shell spacing more consistent. Either way it is uh, doing wonders. So it's seven second death, three second mistake in Thalassophobia, and one second mistake in Yacht Club. That's that's a, a hell of a start. Oh, I I knew I pressed right too late. I knew I knew I delayed a little bit too long. Thank you for the luck. Enjoy the lurk. I think today's the day, my friend. I am as confident as ever. I'm late. Oh my god. Okay, so I did a, a pretty... I feel like I was late to the Koopa, and I felt like I did a pretty big back wiggle, but still made it. That's all that matters. Get me out of there. Let's go. Sash, how you doing tonight? God, that felt good, dude. I love that sense first room now. It's super clean. Let's 
sloppy exit on that, that's fine. Uh, a little far left on that uh, block as well, it's a little slow, it's fine though. I'm doing great, man, I'm super excited. I've been, I've been chomping at the bit all day, I was watching Slopcore do uh, his Grand Poo World run, uh, no reset. I've been like dying to get to play then, since watching. Okay. No punish. No punish. Let's go. Whew. I actually, I actually got so inspired. Like he was, uh, he was struggling at that fight. And I want, I, he doesn't have confidence, I hope he's not here lurking, so don't, <laughs> don't be too embarrassed if I say this. He, he doesn't have confidence that he can do that fight, so I wanted to put him together a, a, a tutorial video for that fight, because I think he can do it. If, if only he knew the visual cues, I think he could get it every single time like that. So, I, I felt motivated, I made sure. To give him a, a utility, a resource. Oh, I've definitely been punished. I've definitely been punished by the Chuck. It doesn't happen too often, but it definitely happens. Wow, actually saving time. That means we're fast. Failed on the one cycle, still almost managed to die, but we didn't die, so it's fine. Oh, I almost fucked that up. Okay, that's fine. Super slow. Oh my god, I almost missed the pipe too. Jesus fucking Christ. Get me out of here. I've been a lot more uh, cautious with the one cycle platform. I don't know how, how many of you noticed that, but I've been only going for it if the setup looks completely perfect when I land on the thing. I've been erring on the side of caution um, for that, which I think might be the right call, but I'm not throwing the strat away because I know I can do it. I just need to have the setup be nice. It's a pretty sloppy. Secret exit, but it's fine. I forgot I wanted I forgot to write that down. I actually wanted to practice that up pipe. I failed it four times yesterday, which I never used to fail this at all. I used to always get this. And now I think it I think honestly I think this is just a thing that's in the head now. You know, you fail it a few times and all of a sudden you're overthinking it. And you're changing your inputs. Is what it is. Uh, we were on a in, uh, pretty insane pace, I would say. I mean, we're still, this is still good pace. Don't get me wrong. Still good pace. Uh, it just sucks that that's the death that we took. And again, I think, I think it's just due to insecurity at that section. We know what to do. Awkward. 
Uh, so yeah, we know what to do. We know what to do. We know how to do it. How to, like how to execute it. And I think we're just being over nervous that we're going to miss the pipe, which is causing us to miss the pipe. Like I think we're not we're not being as aggressive with our D-pad as we need to be. And uh, play, playing scared like that is getting me killed, I think. I mean, you're not wrong, Ash. You are not wrong. It's typically how I play our speedrun. Very slow. 43. I usually get at least a 44. Can I can actually get a 45 too? So you know that I was taking that like super slow. I like what I see. One big death, two small deaths, and uh, two small uh, mistakes for minimal time loss. That's been the run so far, and that's pretty solid. the standard way. Hopefully I can get this. Yeah. Early. Yeah, I was just like all thrown off. That's annoying. I had I, I did have everything I needed. I just like hard to watch that guy for that Lakitu for so long because I don't normally have to. You know what I'm saying? Like I know it's normally a much more like go, go, go. And so I rushed it. Come on, twice I did that? Are you serious? Almost, almost did the exact same mistake again. I was actually able to salvage at that time, though. Man, failed the mushroom skip twice. Okay. Fuck, that was terrible. <sighs> Man, it would it would I it would not have been bad if I had just gotten the halfway point the first try. Like, yeah, I mean we would have missed mushroom skip, which is gonna cost us. I think it's like six seconds or seven, something like it's a it's a hefty loss, but it would have been like terrible. But having to do that and die, that's that's rough. That is rough. Um let's keep going though.
I'm dead. <gasps> I made it. Oh god. I thought I thought I swung too hard to the right. I thought I was just about to get absolutely demolished by like missing the platform. Not the not hitting the Kaizo block, but missing the platform. Essentially overcorrecting for the Kaizo. Oh boy, that was that was scary. Let's get all the new stuff here. I had to do a second one. I was way too I took way too long on the pause. It's a very, very slight pause. It's not supposed to be super noticeable. But like I, I noticed I was slow. It's like, ah oh, fuck, I'm gonna have to use the second triangle, but fuck, I use the extra jump as well. Oh well. Everything's fine. You can skip that platform, you don't have to use it. Get the proper spacing there with the jump. Okay, let's get the new the new room three. Only one jump needs to be timed now. Just the last jump. Love it. Good. Got the early saw spawn. I think. I think I saw it move early. Let's go. Beautiful, Hanzo. So the only the only thing that went wrong is I failed triangle skip, but I didn't die, and then I missed the one thing where I can skip one of the platforms in room two. And that was it. Everything else was uh, pretty damn good. I have a lot more confidence in Markwood. I have a lot more confidence in uh, Hanzo now. Mid mid game feels a little bit easier with some of the recent practice we've been doing. And I have a lot more confidence in this level, knock on wood, this exit. For the last, like, two weeks or so, I think. Whenever whenever I did my stone boo invest, like, heavy investigation. Fuck. Can he please fucking go over? There we go. Fucking Christ, dude. I took like 80 seconds to get that. Oh my god, I can't believe I didn't die. God damn, dude. So like, I had everything I needed. I had the, the the fishing boo baited to the right, and I went up left, and I bounced on. But then I like, I got stuck up there. I maybe I baited him too far to the right before like dropping down to the the hallway. And like, so once I once that happened, the whole setup was all fucked up, and I had to like, and his swinging pat the the rough part was his swinging pattern was off. So like. He was going to be low when I was going to be going into the pipe or like there was like I could tell I was going to die before making it to the pipe essentially and I had to keep going back and forth to get him back on the proper uh swing cycle. Oof, okay. We're fine though. Everything's fine.
Let's go. Whew. I hope that fishy boo dance makes it in the world record. We'll see. So far, so good, man. This is, uh... I mean, it's not the best pace I've ever had. Apparently, I've had a 44-40 pace entering House of the Undying. If you can believe that. I've had a 44 pace entering House. Um, but this is, uh... I mean, 45-25, that's not bad. That is not bad at all. And I think this is literally the first run of the night. Oh my god, I almost I almost swung like did a left right wiggle that killed me right there. Holy shit, that was close. Fuck out of there. Let's fucking go, dude. Whew. No death so left. Okay. God, that was awkward. First try, but... Sloppy. I had a rough start to that. I think, did I only start with like two hits? That's really bad. If you only start with two hits, that makes the fight so much harder. Instead of getting, uh, what I, I try to go for four. I try to go for three back and forth and then one on the same side, I think is what I'd normally try to do, if I recall. So, something like that. <sighs> okay, house, let's go. I'm not a house, uh, Irie. Oh my god, dude! Yeah, Calm down. Good save, good save. Oh, please, thank you. Thank you, thank you. I couldn't... I released and repressed A apparently too quickly. I got, like, no freaking drop drop frames there. So I was, like, super high. I wasn't sure I was going to make that. Okay, can we get the new strat? Uh, I literally pressed it three times, and every three times was fucking too quick each time because of the previous failure. That's that's kind of rough, but it's fine. Good new strat.
fuck out of here. Ah, uh, bonk. Bonk again. The only bonk I want is the pipe the pipe wall bonk, so I don't fall through the, the rope. Those other two bonks were accidental. Okay, let's go. <sighs> okay, we doing something, dude. 46 flat. Do you see it? Zero, zero, point zero, zero. <sighs> so you're saying there's a chance. What a run! Way! Let's go. Come on. Just like in practice. Gorgeous, fucking yeah. Let's go. I love my new setups there. I just absolutely love them. Easy game. Let's go. Just like practice. I'm gonna be safe. I'm just gonna be safe. Uh, why was that off? Must have overthought. Did that super safe? up here just in time world record pace my friend how bad was the death okay we lost 12 there it's a porn thing for luck one level to go. There we go. God damn it. Three tries. That's rough. Thanks, Zanian. <sighs> yeah, dude, we are... Uh, we're, we're cooking with fire right now. Can we, uh, can we be a good gamer? Can we be a good gamer for one, one final level? Ah, no jump. I let you down. Sorry, Johnny. I usually, I'm usually actually very good at the blue switch jump. Like, blue and red, both of those, I have, like, actually decently high confidence I'm going to get them. <sighs> Come on, dude. Just give me, give me my one time. <laughs> took it safe. Didn't even go for Thwomp Skip, I just took it safe. 
took that jump safe too. Had a huge hang time just to make sure I, I let it go around. <sighs> plain safe, plain safe. Ah, did not mean to touch that pedestal. Safe too. I'm not even gonna do the other strat, the new strat, because I had a rough start there. I thought I was gonna be late and gonna die. So yeah, I didn't do the didn't do the cool strat to skip some jumps in the middle section, but it's fine. Oh, what wrong section? Oh goddamn it! Wrong direction there. I for something I thought I was on thwimp. my god did I play that like an actual trash can somehow live. How did I fucking live through any of that shit? I, there was at least three mistakes in that fucking level. Please, 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 please. Let's go. So you're saying there's a chance. So you're saying there's a motherfucking chance, my friends. We have one opportunity, one shot. Did not let this chance blow. I don't fucking know. There's some words. There are words to a song that would fit here. And this is the opportunity. Mom spaghetti, exactly. Mom spaghetti. Okay, come on. Come on, dude. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on. Let me get my one time. Let me get my fucking one time. Dude! Oh my, I was in that spike in the top left! Let's fucking go, dude! Come on, come on, come on, come on. We can't blow it here. Whew. Okay, now the heart's fucking racing. the easy way. Yes, dude! Yes! Ah! Oh! God damn it, dude! Let's fucking go! Ah! Oh! Dude! 
Yes! Yes, 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 yes! Oh, <laughs> oh my god, that felt fucking good! Good! <laughs> oh my god, dude! Oh. <laughs> oh my god, dude, world fucking record! Oh my god. Oh my god, dude. Oh. <laughs> oh, dude, let's go. That that was a run. Oh my god.